My name is Lloyd Emil. I co-host a technology makeover show called My Home 2.0. We've built Guitar Hero concert stages, secret bat caves, even a twittering teddy bear. But this was the proudest moment of my life. Check it out. I got to meet one of my heroes, MVP slugger Ryan Howard. And then I got an idea. Hack a bat to profile the swing of the top home run hitter in the game. How to hack a bat. The Ryan Howard speed test. To measure the bat speed and track the swing motion, here's what you'll need. This is a hack a bat. It's not your ordinary bat. It's a 2.0 bat. It has an accelerometer inside of it that measures how fast you swing the bat as well as take X and Y position of your swing throughout the duration of your swing. There's also a gyroscope inside of it that sends a digital fingerprint of your batting profile from the bat wirelessly to the computer. You want to bore out a hole at the end of your bat two and a half inches deep and one and a half inch in diameter. Next, we want to assemble our circuit. We're gonna use a technique called wire wrapping, which is a very efficient way of securing electrical components. We'll insulate the connections with hot glue. The microcontroller is like a mini computer. It handles the processing of the information received from the accelerometer and gyroscope and sends that to the transceiver, which sends it out wirelessly to the computer. Now we're gonna connect the microcontroller to our IC socket. And we'll take our foam padding, place it around the anti-static bag, take our electrical components and stuff them into the bat. And then we insert our battery. Next, we want to cap off the end of our bat and we'll seal it up with hot glue and we're ready to swing away. Step six, present the 2.0 bat to Ryan Howard. It's, it's an honor to get, uh, let you swing this. Oh, well, thank you. the first to swing the hack -a bat The hack -a bat Our data visualization software receives information from the bat and profiles the swing. The blue line is the y-axis of the accelerometer. It peaks sharply due to strong centripetal forces. The green line measures the swing speed. An elevated green line indicates a faster peak swing speed. The yellow and red lines taken from the gyroscope show how the position of the bat changes during the swing. When you start your swing, you basically want to have it get from point A to point B while staying through the hitting zone as long as possible. I like to think of it as um, baseball as being a game of opposites. The more relaxed you are, yeah. the, the quicker you'll tend to, to swing and, and get everything through the zone. So basically, you know, with the whole science of the swing, you just want to be relaxed mm -hmm. and you just want to try and take it from here to here while keeping your bat head in the zone as long as possible. See all the tech makeovers at 2pointhome.com.